Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Emily. And we, we are, are the, the Keto, Keto Twins. Twins. We've lost over 160 pounds following a ketogenic lifestyle. And on our channel, we talk about all things keto. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So today we thought we would do something different and test out viral keto TikTok hacks for everybody um, and see if they live up to the hype. Emily picked out one and I picked out the other. And the other one is just kind of something random that we decided to do. And we're going to get started and cook those up for you. And then we're going to review how they taste. So the one that caught my interest was this one by at Nick Keto, N-I-K-K-E-T-O, and it's got about 207,000 hearts. And so um, I like this one because it looks like it's jalapeno, like a jalapeno popper that's wrapped in a slice of cheese and baked. So um, who is gonna not love that? I love jalapenos. I just brought some over from the garden. And so we're gonna try that one first. So the thing about TikTok is that they don't really give detailed instructions. They just kind of show you how they're doing it. So we're going to eyeball this recipe. We put these cheese slices on this parchment paper. We preheated our oven to 350 degrees and we're going to throw it in there and we're going to monitor it to see that it's super melty and we're going to take it out. So let's do that. Oh, oven's ready. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix up the ingredients in the bowl that includes jalapenos, cream cheese, I'm going to add a little garlic powder because I like garlic and everything, and some bacon bits. All right, I'm just going to add some garlic powder, a little pinch of salt, some chopped up bacon, and some jalapenos that I've taken the seeds out of because jalapenos are super hot and I don't want to suffer now or later. You know just kidding. Ew. Um, yeah, we're just gonna mix this up. Make sure your cream cheese is uh, sitting out for a while to make it easier. Make sure to wash your hands after you touch jalapenos. It's been about five minutes, so we're gonna check on our cheese slices. Oh, I think that's ready to go. What do you think, Sarah? Yeah, according to they the TikTok, look, there's yeah, no like, instructions, mean, so. Cool. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it on the cold thing, cold countertop. All right, and maybe give it a minute. Like chicken pox. Ew. Are we trying to get people to make these recipes or try to revolt them, revolt, discuss them? Both. I'm gonna nuke it for 10 seconds. Uh, Apollo 13. Thank you. Oh, damn. Although I'm sure they do say that in Armageddon as well. Okay. Do you know what that means? Max velocity? Max, I don't know. I'm not a physicist, okay? I'm just a person trying to make keto TikTok recipes on YouTube. So, take it and then we're going to roll it. Okay. Um, let's get a little platter out. To display our masterpiece. Cool. Well, here's the finished product. I think that they look pretty tasty. Are you ready to try one? Absolutely. Easy, cheesy. I don't I don't know how you can beat it, honestly. I wonder what the husbands are gonna think. Yeah, I'm sure they'll like it. Yeah, this oh. is good. Well, I'm right, a fan. On, on to the next. Um, can I get a, um, a bottle of wine while you're here, waiter? No. Just uh, maybe no. a... Okay. All right, come on, try his treat. Okay. Come on, guys, treat. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. On to the next one. Very good. Okay, so that one was really good. Our next one is uh, Keto Bagel Bites by at Miss Boss Sauce. And um, it looks really simple. I've been really loving everything in the bagel seasoning. Um, I bought this one from Amazon Fresh, but um, you know Trader Joe's has it. Almost everybody has everything bagel seasoning nowadays. So um, it's pretty much this, cream cheese on a low carb tortilla. All things I had already. Uh, we're using the Mission low carb tortillas. These are the ones that we really like and enjoy. Um, you could use any type of low carb tortilla. She uses a different one in the video. So let's just get started. This is going to be really quick and simple. All right, so let's, how do you replay on TikTok? That's, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so. Um, 
it looks like she uses low carb tortillas, cream cheese, which we have. She spreads it on the tortilla and then she sprinkles everything in the bagel seasoning. Looks really simple. Let's do it. I don't know. Do you like using a spoon or a knife to spread things? What about you, Emily? Spoon. I like using a spoon because of that curvature. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take a dollop of cream cheese and spread it on nice and thinly. I think you kind of want some of the cream cheese to come out because that makes it like crispy and brown if it like touches the butter, so. Get it towards the edges. Yes. Spread it towards the edge. Well, we're making pinwheels out of this, so there's gonna be lots of edges. Okay. While my butter is heating up, we're gonna sprinkle on some seasoning. I don't know, there's no measurements. My mom would like this. Aga aga. Mm. Okay. That's pretty much what she did. So then we roll it. Rolling. Rolling. Get a tight roll out of that. Mm. Okay. Take our knife. And this one's gonna look like an end piece that doesn't do anything. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then I don't know how thick how thick does she cut it? I don't know. Let's watch. Oh, she makes some pretty, no measurements. An inch in diameter, circumference. Okay. This is an end piece that has hardly anything in it. Okay, two ends. So I'm trying to brown um, these little bagel bites on every side, but it's kind of hard to do since they're like cylindrical. So um, I think that looks good. What do you think? Yeah. You have some caramelization of that cream cheese and the caramelization. Really not. So I'm gonna drain these on paper towel and let them cool off so we don't burn our tongue off. And then we will give them a taste and let the husbands devour the rest of them. All right, so these are simple to make and they look pretty good. What do you think? They're nice and toasty and brown. Let's try it. Really mm. good. Wow. I'm mm, sorry. Wow, that's really good. I could imagine like making something like this with like salmon or something, like lox mm. and bagels or something like that. Or pepperonis. Yeah. You can really make these your own. I would definitely recommend you try this recipe out if you have low carb tortillas. Um, this would be great for a party too. Mm. If there is ever a party again. A party of two. Oh, yeah. Just two of us. And our husbands. Yeah, them too. All right, well, let's uh, give it to our husbands to try. Second course? Yes. Can you they please are... explain what the dish is? Sure, it's uh, keto bagel bites. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a pizza roll type of thing, but bagel flavored. Best way I can explain it. Awesome, thank you for your review. So, so good, do you have any more? Nope, that's it. The next one might be kind of iffy, so. So our last recipe, the one that I'm kind of most apprehensive about, is the one by at Keto Coach X, and it's a cinnamon sugar pork rind. You know, I used to love going to Taco Bell, and I would order those uh, cinnamon swirls from like the dessert menu or whatever they were, and I would just devour it in like 10 seconds. So I'm excited to maybe get a keto version of it, but pork rinds really for dessert, pork for dessert. Okay, whatever. Let's let's just go for it then. So you're gonna need um, a bag of plain pork rinds. This one, it's just plain. Um, we're gonna use about half of this butter, three tablespoons, uh, two tablespoons of swerve, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. So you pour in half the butter. This is about half a stick of butter. We're gonna do half. Ooh. It's about half. Two tablespoons of sugar. Substitute. Sugar substitute. And then you just shake it. Hmm. Still kind of smells like pork rinds to me, so. All right, well, we... Bone appetit. Is it good? Um, I still think it tastes like pork rinds to me, but 
Um, the outside layer kind of tastes like it, but the inside layer does not. So I wonder if you let the butter like penetrate it more, mm -hmm. it would start tasting more like that on the inside. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just not absorbing enough. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. To me, it still tastes like pork with cinnamon pork. It's not bad. It's just, I don't, but it's not that good either. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of pork rinds really to begin with, so, um. Last recipe. They're very close. They like them. 100%. I thought they were gonna hate it. No. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we recreated some viral keto TikTok recipes. If you guys see any recipes that you want us to try on TikTok, you can uh, comment below or you can follow us on TikTok. We are the Keto Twins on TikTok there and we do plan on posting there more. So we hope that we'll see you over there. It seems like there's a growing community of keto people on mm -hmm. TikTok. So if you don't have TikTok, then you might want to consider maybe joining it or just lurking on it. You don't have to create an right. account to lurk on the recipes on there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. I'm Emily. And we are the Keto, keto Twins. twins. Bye. Bye.